Elon recently went to Twitter to hint at the upcoming holiday software release coming to Tesla's cars soon, and he says it is fire. Let's discuss why this update is most likely software version 11 and what the update will likely include. I'm Jonathan, and welcome to CleanerWatt. One amazing benefit of owning a Tesla vehicle is that Tesla is constantly improving their software. With every software release, your car becomes better than when you first purchased it. And while it's not unusual for Tesla to be adding new features to their software and new features to their car, Elon Musk seems especially excited about this upcoming software update. On November 17th, Elon Musk tweeted out, Tesla holiday software release is fire. And then in response to Toby Lee, who asked about hints, he said, so many things you want and some you didn't know you wanted. So why do I think this is going to be version 11 of the software and not just another update of the existing version 10 software that's currently found in Tesla's vehicles? Well, part of the reason is because of the timing of past releases. Version 9 of Tesla software was released in October of 2018, and about a year later in September of 2019, Tesla released version 10 of their software, which brought a lot of amazing features, which we'll talk about in a second. So based on past trends, about every year Tesla brings out a new software version, and the fact that Elon Musk is so excited about this particular release really makes me believe it's going to be version 11. When Tesla moved from version 9 of their software to version 10, they added quite a few amazing features. Version 10 of Tesla software included many important updates for features like dash cam and sentry mode, and it also included several new functions including smart summon, Tesla theater, adding Spotify to the cars, karaoke, automatic lane changes for the full self-driving software package, and also Joe mode. And Tesla has added a lot of new features over the last year or so in this version 10 software package. Now, while we don't know for sure what's going to be in this software release, because of the fact that Elon Musk is so active on Twitter and that he responds to a lot of people asking about new features on Twitter, we can go to Twitter to get a little bit of an idea of what might be added to version 11 of Tesla software. We can also get a little bit of a clue from the Elon Musk tweet saying, so many things you want, and I believe that's referring to Twitter requests, things that people have actually requested, and some you didn't know you wanted. Those will be things that are really going to be hard to predict and new exciting features to come. Now, as I dive into some of my predictions, I want to start with just a broad overview of version 11, what I expect from version 11, and then I want to dive into some actual details and actual features. So just on a broad view, I believe version 11 of Tesla software will be really geared towards Tesla's push to full self-driving. They're going to be adding a lot more, I believe, games and also media features to version 11 of Tesla software because as Tesla's cars move further and further towards autonomy and with a full self-driving beta release looking really good, driving automatically on city streets, and we'll talk about that a little later on in the video, Tesla's promise of full self-driving, full autonomy is looking better and better every day. I also believe that version 11 of the software could bring the Tesla App Store to their vehicles as was hinted in the Q2 2020 conference call. Once again, as Tesla moves closer and closer to full self-driving, full autonomy, the screen in the Model 3 and the Model S are going to start being more geared towards entertainment and media because you'll want something to do while the car is driving you around. I also believe that we'll see a new layout for the screen, possibly even something that looks a lot like what the Cybertruck had in the prototype that was unveiled. And with this new layout, we know from Elon Musk on Twitter that there will be a vector space bird's eye view coming with FSD. So those are my broad predictions for version 11 of Tesla software, but here are a few smaller things that I expect based on some tweets that Elon Musk has responded to in the past. Adam Klotz on Twitter asked Elon Musk about adding an option to adjust sentry mode sensitivity, and Elon Musk said sure. Being able to adjust the sensitivity of Tesla's sentry mode would especially be useful when it comes to what the cameras capture, and the car would be able to better differentiate between things that actually matter and need to be captured and things that do not need to be. 
Also based on this tweet from Elon Musk, I believe we'll see waypoints added to Tesla's navigation system in a future release and most likely version 11. As I mentioned earlier, I believe Tesla will add a lot of games and media features to the upcoming software release, version 11. And something else that supports Tesla's push towards more games is the fact that, as Electrek reported, Tesla is looking to switch to an AMD Navi chip for its onboard computer. This new AMD chip that Tesla could be adding to their vehicles, to the MCU of their vehicles, could be the Navi 23, which would greatly improve the gaming and media in the infotainment system of Tesla's vehicles. We also know that Elon Musk likes to have fun with the vehicles and add funny things to their software. So, as he mentioned on Twitter, Tesla's will soon talk to people if you want. This is real. And he followed that up with, of course your car would be able to fart in their general direction. In August, he also mentioned new Tesla feature coming that enables your car to play snake jazz or Polynesian elevator music through its outside speakers wherever you go. I'm sure we'll see quite a number of other improvements and new features added that are really impossible to predict. But one big thing that I say for last, the biggest part of software version 11 that I believe Tesla will bring out is I believe they will roll out the full self-driving on city streets or auto steer on city streets to the wider Tesla fleet. And I believe that will roll out in version 11 because Tesla's beta program has been very successful. Here are some impressive clips of Tesla's vehicles automatically driving through city streets from Brandon M on YouTube showing just how well Tesla software is doing. Make sure that you subscribe to Brandon's channel, I'll put a link in the description, to watch many other great full self-driving videos from him. Now it may seem like it's too early for Tesla to roll out auto steer on city streets to the broader fleet, but Tesla's rate of improvement has been very fast for the full self-driving beta program. On October 31st, Tesla owner Silicon Valley asked Elon Musk, how fast do you think you'll be rolling out updates for full self-driving beta? And Elon Musk responded, every 5 to 10 days. On November 14th, once again, Elon Musk responded to Tesla owners Silicon Valley and said, next week's release is special. Lot of fundamental improvements, both important bug fixes and entire new areas of functionality. Also on November 19th, Elon Musk said, if next week's release looks good, we will widen beta. So I believe Tesla will widen the beta release program to a lot more people. And then when version 11 comes out, I believe that will happen sometime in December and that will allow for the rest of the Tesla fleet that have paid for the full self-driving software package to get this auto steer on city streets. Of course, like Tesla's Navigate on Autopilot on the highway, it's not going to be perfect and it will still need supervision from the driver, but I believe Tesla is really close to be able to roll this out to the general population of Tesla owners so they can get a lot more data and really improve it even faster than they already are. Make sure that you let me know what you think in the comments. What features do you expect Tesla to add with version 11? And do you think that version 11 is what Elon Musk is talking about? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make these videos possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, and also Inku Kang and Laura Sanborn. Also, thank you to the other supporters listed on the screen. Thank you so much.